What's up, folks? Snap a turtle in the truck. Now, I'm here to give you guys a heads up. I'm going to be doing a presentation, a live presentation, later on in the day in regards to a certain issue that's been brought up numerous times over the last few weeks. Okay, now there's an agenda and a conspiracy to demonize white males, okay? To turn them into the new face of terrorism, basically domestic terrorism, okay? And they're doing this so that they can take our guns away, okay? This, there is a, an agenda to disarm the people. And the ones that own the most guns in this country are white men. So they go after the white man, they throw the white man's face up there, show everybody how crazy the average white male is. And then you have, um, you got white men out there at the range doing reviews of firearms, showing their training and all this other stuff, showing their three gun competitions, showing how lethal they are with those firearms, okay? They're putting that out there. So that is going to be their best way to remove the firearms in the country. They're going to use that. They're going to leverage that. And you know, you have Ilhan Omar saying that <clears throat> the white man is the most dangerous man in the country, not Islamic terrorists, okay? Not Muslims. And, you know, that's the, uh, and that's a, a step. That's a stepping stone to achieving the ultimate control over the people, okay? The ultimate control. You take their farms away, they're easier to control, they're easier to kill in large numbers. You know, then you have tyranny up, uh, tyranny rearing its ugly head. You know, tyranny has always been there, but it's going to become more and more overt as they subdue their white male. Because, let's face it, the people that are prepping for tyranny, to fight against tyranny, are mainly white men. So it only makes sense to go after white males, right? But, this is what I have a problem with. Instead of people expounding on why the white male is a new face of domestic terrorism, they're pointing their finger at black people. They're saying, oh, black people are only 14% of the population, but commit 52% of the crime. That's, what I, that's where I have a problem, okay? Number one, that's not true. It's not true. That is a very misleading statistic that they get from the U.S. government, the FBI or whatever. And it's, what's interesting is that some of these people that are spouting these statistics to prove a point, to, um, to push a narrative, don't trust the government. You don't trust the government, but you're going to outright believe a statistic that the government is putting out there. Help me make that make sense. You can't. Okay? Either you trust the government or you don't. You can't pick and choose what you, well, you can but then it makes you expose yourself for, for who you really are and what type of person you are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down and outline how very untrue that is. I'm going to break it down. I'm going to show evidence. Okay? For example, several judges have been arrested and convicted of selling black men to private prisons. Falsely imprisoning black males. You don't think that adds to, adds to the statistics that you're talking about? So if a few were caught, imagine how many aren't caught. How, imagine how many judges are out there doing this and not being caught. Another example. 
a police chief in Florida, got caught committing conspiracy to frame black men for crimes. Specifically, black men. Not any man. Not white man. Not brown man. Not yellow man. Black man. He's, he's getting three years. He was convicted. That's just another example. There are many more of those examples out there. How many times in how many days and how many how many times out the year or how many black convicts are being released and exonerated after it's found out that they didn't they did not commit that crime? spending 15, 20, 30 years in jail. So when you think about the crimes that were committed to get them there, is that considered in the crime rate? Are they considering the system deliberately framing and setting up black men to spend time in prison as slaves? I don't think so. But I'm going to give it to your ass. You're going to learn today. You feel me? So if you're a white YouTuber and I sympathize with you because they are coming after white men. They are putting white men up there as a new face of domestic terrorism. You don't have to point the finger to the black man. Point the finger who, to who you should be pointing to the, fin the finger at. The system. The media. The government. That's pointing that finger at you. And let's face it, over 90% of the crime committed by black people are committed to other black, or are victimizing other black people. That's just a fact. And that's a shame. And that's something that we need to stop. That's something that we need to change as a people. As a people, that's what we need to change. You know? It... it we need to do something about that. We need to stop victimizing our own people. Period. We need to work toward that. But every time we do, guess who comes in and shuts that shit down and makes sure we right back to destroying ourselves? I do I need to say it? Do I need to bring up Tulsa, Oklahoma? Do I need to bring up Move in Philadelphia? Don't need to bring up any other instance of empowerment of our own people that gets knocked down by certain individuals. I don't think so. But at the same time, that's no excuse for destroying ourselves. <clears throat> it's, not, it's no excuse. We just have to recognize that we have to move a little different. If we're trying to really empower ourselves, we need to move a little different. Just move a little different. You know what I'm saying? Nipsey Hussle. He was trying to do it. He moved a little bit in the wrong way. Got taken out by one of his own. The point is that if we know that these people over here are trying to demonize white folks, right? These people over here are trying to make the white man the new face of domestic terrorism then you shouldn't be looking over here at the people who ain't got shit to do with it. It's called the straw man argument. Using the straw man. And and some of you people who are doing this, are, it's, I'm, I'm very surprised that, that you would fall for this shit. Anyway, look out for my live. I'm going to show receipts and instances that might pretty much make that fucking statistic null and void. Anyway, I'll see y'all later.